I started out life as a biologist, as I think you'll guess from this one. A twisted place. Wind and water shape the strength of a tree planted by deep water. A stick horse bobs in the shallows, waiting for a mer child. Old moss colonizes the land in shelves, forgetting the perils evolution taught its descendants, the old twisted willow. And, and you're mentioning a color poem. Well, this is one called Blue and Blue. It was also a long time ago about writing about a color. Robin's eggs, bathroom tiles, and the feathers in my mother's collection of found things. They lead me back to one day, a spring day in the spring of my life. It was May, it, that may have been March, the day my brother and I went barefoot for the first time. We were beating the bounds, we called it, looking for adventure. Under the big oak tree in the front yard, we looked for eggshell fragments to brighten my mother's day. We found instead a dead robin, nest debris that had been hope of a new generation. Its bill was soft and flexible, its claws already sharp. I remember the prickle of flight feathers not yet formed, the eyes behind fetus solid eyelids were as blue as its eggshell would have had been, and as empty as the sky. It weighed a feather's weight and taught the heavy knowledge of death, our first funeral. And if you, if you think we have time for a third, I would have one. This one is called Dark Cross, a moss-covered cross. I like it that way. Ancient hieroglyphics left by martyrs long ago. There is a beauty in things of man returning to nature. A light lichen sprinkle improves a grave angel. Moss growing on a tombstone softens tragedy of lost child, never named, only baby. <laughs>